Hello everyone and welcome to Callie's Corner here on Unfiltered Gamer. I'm Callie and today I'm excited to talk about cozy games that are coming out at the end of 2021 and into 2022. I'm mostly looking at games that are played on Switch, through Steam, on PC, and board games of course love all of those but some of the games you'll see are also going to be available on xbox and playstation what is a cozy game well to me a cozy game is cute whimsical relaxing and or wholesome could be one or more of those things and i'm not just talking about the aesthetics or look of the game but also the gameplay experience so a lot of the games that i enjoy have little or no combat or the combat isn't the main challenge in the game so instead some of the challenges of gameplay might be something like the resource management or time management or spatial reasoning or puzzles and problem solving or even just world exploration and mystery solving all right let's get into the game up first we have Kitaria Fables, which is coming out really soon. It's coming out September 2nd to Steam, Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Kitaria Fables is an adventure RPG game, which also includes farming and crafting in addition to uh, the storyline of the game. So the world features these really cute sort of animal-based characters and you're playing as a cat-like character along with your sprite friend. You've been uh, assigned as soldiers to defend Paw Village and there's also a farm that you take over and develop farming and crafting. There's different combat systems that you can explore whether it's melee range or magic which is a big part of the storyline and mystery that unfolds i played a demo version of this on steam which mostly included the combat and storyline portions of the game so we got to explore a little bit of the beginning of the storyline, some of the combat. The combat was really easy, which is nice because it gives you that ability to try different systems without feeling like you're getting behind in skill points. There are different skill trees and I'm excited to see the full game, which hopefully will be able to explore more of the farming and crafting side of the game. Coming out really soon here, September 2nd. Check out the links in the description below. Next up is Alchemic Cutie coming September 28th to Steam. Alchemic Cutie is an adventure RPG where you are raising jellies, crafting through alchemy and exploring the storyline of the island. The jellies have a ton of unique visuals, stats, and different attributes, which you'll be able to combine as you collect and find them, breed them and raise them, and then you'll enter them into competitions. The game has a really bright and delightful pixel style, which reminds me of Stardew Valley and Littlewood, two other cozy games that I highly recommend and love. In addition, the gameplay of raising the cute little jellies reminds me of some of the games from my youth, including Tamagotchi and Pokemon. Something about being nurturing and caring and raising these jellies brings to mind to me a really cozy and comfortable type of game to play. Check out the Steam page for Alchemic Cutie down below in the description. Next up is maybe a more well-known game, My Time at Sandrock by Pathia Games. Maybe more well-known because it is by the creators of My Time at Portia and kind of takes place in the same world, kind of a successor to My Time at Portia. My Time at Sa Sandrock is slated to release on PC in spring 2022 and then later is going to come to Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. Similar to My Time at Portia, in My Time at Sandrock, you are crafting and building, mining, exploring, and farming as well. 
So there's a bunch of different things you can do, though the primary attribute of the game or element to the game is the building and crafting system, which is really what's going to drive the storyline further. And while there is some combat, um, I assume just like my time at Porsche, it will be more simple and straightforward, a little bit easier to manage. The developers consider this kind of a successor to my time at Porsche because they were able to go back into their development process and coding process and just do things in a little bit better of a way, build a better foundation for all the things that they really wanted to do at my time at Porsche but couldn't, including multiplayer mode. So that part I am really excited about. I will say the only thing I'm apprehensive about for my time at Sandrock is the look and feel of the game isn't maybe as bright or exciting as my time at Porsche. My time at Sandrock takes place in a desert city in the similar world, uh, but it, it has a little bit of uh, that more desert sort of feel and look. So I hope there's ways that they'll make that more exciting, more fun and bright. But we'll see more as the game unfolds in the alpha and beta versions. You can check out the Steam link to My Time at Sandrock down in the description box below. Next up is Katoria Academy which there isn't a release date for Katoria Academy yet, but the developers have said that it will be released on PC and Steam in the future. So we'll be looking for a release date for that. If there is one soon, I'll update it in the description box below, as well as a link to their Steam page. In Katoria Academy, you're playing as an apprentice, an apprentice wizard, where you'll be able to join the academy and learn about things like how to brew potions, how to cast spells, and all sorts of different things, as well as growing your own herbs for your potions and spells. This game looks like a lot of fun to me. There's not a whole lot known yet about the game, but the screenshots of the gameplay that developers have posted, I've been following them on Twitter, looks super cute and exciting, and the just the customization even for your character looks adorable and fun. And I haven't really heard of a game kind of like this before that has this kind of Harry Potter feel where you're, you're going to a magic school and learning all about magic which I'm super excited for and excited to learn more. Hopefully we'll get a release date soon. Next up, I'm excited to share Coral Island by Stairway Games. It is slated for release on Steam by the end of 2022 with the release on console, which includes Switch and Xbox and PlayStation to happen a little bit later after that. There is a lot packed into this game. So in addition to some of the normal elements of a simulation, farming and life type game, which would include things like farming, ranching, mining, building relationships and romancing different characters, there's also some unique elements such as diving, uh, exploring the merfolk kingdom and village, as well as mini games and multiplayer. So a lot of this was unlocked through their big Kickstarter campaign, which I also backed the game during that time. And so much, there's so much excitement. It was a really good campaign. They showed off the game really well. I think the, the artwork and the aesthetics and the unique uh, sort of location of the world of the game really helped them out. You have this island, yeah, which I love the tropical theme and the ability to explore the waters and befriend mermaids. I love mermaids. So that was a really intriguing element to me that really caught my attention as well as multiplayer. A lot of the farming type simulation games, you have to kind of play by yourself. I know um, some of my friends and my husband really want to play games together. A lot of the games I like are solo games. So this is, will be a fun one for us hopefully to play together and explore. So definitely check out the link for Coral Island on Steam down below and let me know what you think. Next up, I'm gonna share some cozy board games that are coming out soon that I am super excited for. Of course, we play a lot of board games around here and we get to sometimes play demo or prototype versions. And this first game is exactly that. 
It is Flamecraft by Cardboard Alchemy. It's on Kickstarter right now. The Kickstarter ends September 2nd, so you still have a little bit of time as of posting this video if you'd like to consider backing it. Flamecraft is a game for one to five players where you are placing these artisan dragons, giving them jobs in the town, building up the town with different shops, collecting resources, and enchanting the shops to sort of build your combos and uh, collect the most points. Flamecraft is a semi-cooperative uh, game so you're kind of cooperatively building the town but everyone is scoring for their own individual selves so there can only be a one winner that said it is not the the competitiveness is not vicious at all um, it's really cozy and laid back the artisan dragons and the fancy dragons are so cute the whole world of flamecraft is just adorable and heartwarming and really gives you that cozy feel there's dragons with names like toast you know that just makes you feel like you want to have a little piece of toast and nibble on it with your tea while you're playing this game check out our live stream playthrough of the game with the developer i'll put that link in the description below as well as the link to the kickstarter the campaign is really exciting and a lot of fun they've raised over a million dollars already and there's tons of engagement within the campaign different puzzles you can try i think you can try to solve them even after the campaign but during the campaign there's different prizes and things to unlock which is really exciting next up is cultivate by XYZ Game Labs. They're the creators of Our Travels, another cozy board game that I love. And you can see I have a prototype of Cultivate right here that we've been able to play and have a lot of fun with. So it is a small box game, but you are collecting, drafting, and placing your succulents into your own unique little garden. And what's unique about this sort of set collection and tableau building game is you're not just laying out the cards side by side, you're actually placing them down, overlapping them, trying to build your garden with the best combination of points possible. And there's also some other little additions, extra little tokens to use and secret objectives that'll help you score the most points. I love the artwork and the sort of building and combining aspect of Cultivate and that it packages down into such a small game that you could bring around anywhere or just play in a smaller space. There's no release date for Cultivate yet, but I anticipate that it will be on Kickstarter. That's what the publisher usually does. And if we hear more back from them, I will definitely update the link in the description. Right now, it just takes you to their website where you can sign up and get uh, newsletter information on when the game will be released. Next up is Prosperity from Amentha Games. It was funded on Kickstarter and the estimated delivery is for March 2022. Prosperity is a semi-co-op card game for three to six players where you are collecting different tea ingredients, combining them into artisanal teas that you will sell to customers or display for prestige. And it's so semi-co-op in the aspect that you can sort of trade ingredients with each other for favor tokens and later advantage in the game. But there can only be one winner. And sort of like some of the other games I've mentioned, the winning isn't a uh, vicious or particularly mean or take that. So it is super cozy game. I mean, tea, of course, invites a cozy feeling and the artwork and design of the game is super beautiful and relaxing. In addition, if you are into a sustainable board game design, um, this developer is really interested in that and sourcing more sustainable materials. So check that out if you're interested in that. Also, you can check out my full review of Prosperity. I'll link the description in the box below or link to the video in the description below as well as our live stream playthrough of the game. Finally, the last board game I want to mention is Winter Haven Woods 
by Featherstone Games. It was fully funded on Kickstarter and is estimated to be delivered to backers in January 2022. Winterhaven Woods is a drafting and set collection card game for one to six players, super quick at 15 minutes of play. I don't know a whole lot about the gameplay. I didn't get to play a prototype or anything, but the artwork looks beautiful. We have the sort of woodland, creatures theme as well as the winter backdrop of the game the artwork is really stunning and definitely the those two themes the woodland and winter just make you think of being really cozy cuddling up with your blanket and tea and playing a fun game with your family and or friends I hope you found something interesting in this list of games, something maybe new to you as well. Let me know in the comments below what sounded fun to you or what you backed on Kickstarter or what you're really excited for, what you're gonna check out next. And if I missed any other games that kind of fit into this theme and category of cozy games that are coming out soon, let me know, especially if they're gonna be on Switch on Steam or uh, as a or board or card game. Let me know in the comments. And of course, please like this video. I mean, if you've made it this far, you probably uh, enjoy the video. So please give a like, give a subscribe. There'll be more Callie's Corners videos coming out. If you've watched some of my videos before, you may notice we have a new set here that I'm um, excited to maybe evolve over time in our new house, maybe try some other setups as well. And as always, I look forward to See you guys next time.